Hey guys, it's Sean, and if you watched the Super Bowl on Sunday, then you more than likely saw the Avengers Endgame trailer that aired. And it's not really a trailer, it's more a 30 second spot, but every time that Marvel Studios decides to show us new Avengers footage, we have plenty that we want to discuss. Before I dive into it though, do me a favor, go down, hit the subscribe button, it'll help you keep up to date with everything that Cinema Blend does regarding Marvel Studios. Let's start right at the very beginning, because if you didn't notice, all of the heroes who appear in the montage that appears right before the Marvel Studios logo happens to be every hero that dusted at the end of Avengers Infinity War. And that just means that it's a really depressing way to kick off what turns out to be a melancholic bit of footage. The next thing that stood out to me was that shot of Tony and Nebula working on what appeared to be their busted up spaceship. And that's interesting to me because in the very first Avengers Endgame trailer, we showed Tony recording the message to Pepper Potts about how he's probably gonna die here. There was a huge rumor that maybe Captain Marvel would be the one that rescued him from his broken spaceship. There was another smaller rumor about how Nebula potentially was going to just abandon Tony, and that's why he was by himself in this spaceship, but now I think that their sort of combined uh, intelligence and fortitude and willpower is what's going to bail them out of this situation, and I also thought that that shot of Tony working over some sort of tech was a mirror to him in the cave when he was building his first Iron Man suit. This is a nice little throwback to Jon Favreau's first Marvel Studios film. We don't get long glances of footage, but when we see Rocket and when we see Thor, they're both in really unusual locations, Think, things we know nothing about. Rocket's like opening the door to what looks like a shack and behind him is kind of like a fishing village. Thor looks like he's on some kind of a ship and believe me, I've stared at this image for a long period of time. I cannot tell what kind of ship he's on. It doesn't look like anything that we've ever seen before. I'd almost expect speculate that either one of those guys could potentially be in the spot where we saw Thanos at the end of Infinity War, where he's kind of just relaxing, and it's not out of the realm of possibility that either Rocket or Thor ends up going to where Thanos is. So the fact that they chose to show those shots in this trailer is really intriguing to me. However, I have no answers, just pure speculation. Again, this whole footage is sort of populated with intriguing images, and one that stood out to me is some of the members of the Avengers standing outside of the Avengers facility in the dead of night, staring up at the sky. People have actually been speculating that the way that they are standing leaves a bit of a gap and potentially there is an edited character that they don't want to show at this moment, but they are all looking up. Why are they looking up? Okay, I have two theories about this one. One, it could be that this is when Tony and Nebula return to Earth, that they fix their ship somehow, uh, that they come back down. They also, however, could potentially be looking up at the skies to see the arrival of Captain Marvel. We know that she's going to get her origin story in March, and then we also know she's going to be a significant part of what happens in Avengers Endgame, but it's probably something completely different, and I'm wrong on both counts. We will find out in April. Then there's that shot of Ant-Man where he's standing next to War Machine and each of their helmets are locking into place. That might have poked some holes in a theory that we had earlier that the Scott Lang footage we saw on the security camera at the end of the very first Avengers Endgame trailer was him in another timeline, because now this clearly shows that he is going to interact with the Avengers at some point. The Super Bowl footage for Avengers Endgame ended on an emotional beat. It was Captain America strapping on his shield. This is the first time the hero has had his shield since he dropped it at the end of Civil War. What I liked about it is the way that Chris Evans sold the uh, PTSD the Cap is going through from all of the horrific stuff that he's encountered. His hands are shaking, he can hardly do the buckle on it, but he's ready to sort of mount up and go back into battle, presumably against Thanos. So this was a nice emotional sort of melancholic beat on which to end the footage. This is a big spot for Endgame. They paid a lot of money to show it. So they definitely chose this footage for a reason. Go down to the comments, tell us all of the things that you thought about the Avengers Endgame footage while you were watching it. And while you're down there, do me a favor, hit subscribe. We love when you guys do that for us. It keeps you up to date with everything that we're doing here at CinemaBlend.